by all today we are going to do this exercise number 1.2 okay second exercise of the first chapter first question is represent these numbers on the number line in this first is represent this 7 by 4 in a number line how we can represent this 7 by 4 see here numerator is numerator and this is denominator right this numerator is bigger than this denominator see that means it is an improper fraction improper fraction so we need to convert this improper fraction into mixed fraction first that is 7 by 4 it is one time here 4 the remainder is 3 that means we will get 1 and 4.3 okay 1 and 3 by 4 so we need to represent this number on a number line that means here it is this number is greater than 1 and less than 2 right that means it is on the right of this 1 so here it is 0 this is 1 by 4 this is 2 by 4 this is 3 by 4 this is 4 by 4 that means 1 right it is 5 by 4 this is 6 by 4 and this is our 7 by 4 okay that means then the 8 is 8 by, 8 by 4 means this is 2 between 1 and 2 this number so we can do like this for this type question like improper fraction first you need to convert into mixed fraction then you know how this number where this number will come then you can put like this that is here 7 by 4 is the question so we can write like this this 4 by 4 is 1 and this 5 by 4 6 by 4 7 by 4 this is our point our next question is minus 5 by 6 we need to represent this minus 5 by 6 on the number line okay for this see here it is numerator is numerator is 5 and denominator is 6 which one is bigger denominator is bigger right the previous case numerator was the big so that's why we need this one this mixed fraction so here it is the normal thing we need six parts but one thing it is the negative so it will go to the if it is zero is here if it go it will go to the left side okay that is here it is minus one by six another thing is we need six parts why we have the denominator 6 so we need 6 parts here minus 1 by 6 here minus 2 by 6 here minus 3 by 6 minus 4 by 6 minus 5 by 6 here it is minus 6 by 6 that means minus 1 that is we need this minus 5 by 6 6 by 6 is minus 1 our question is minus 5 by 6 that is here Okay, on the left side of the zero why it is negative if it is positive it will go to the positive side of the right side of the zero got it it's an easy thing okay our second question is represent minus 2 by 11 minus 5 by 11 minus 9 by 11 on the number line okay see here all are proper fractions means numerator is less and denominator is big so we can directly do this for this 11 is in the denominator so we need 11 parts it is on the left side or right side left side why all are negative numbers so we can start from here that is here 1 by 11 it is minus 2 by 11 minus 3 by 11 minus 4 by 11 minus 5 by 11 minus 6 by 11 minus 7 by 11 minus 8 by 11 minus 9 by 11 minus 10 by 11 minus 11 by 11 that is 1 minus 1 right that is we need 
this minus 2 by 11 this point then minus 5 by 11 this point minus 9 by 11 this point okay this is the question simple thing first you need to draw a number line and see it is positive or negative if it is negative go to the left side if it is positive go to the right side then uh, first of all they you have to compare these two if the denominator is big no problem we can do like this if it is numerator is big only we need to convert into mixed fraction to find out where this point will come okay this is the simple thing okay that is minus 2 by 11 minus 5 by 11 and minus 9 by 11 okay got it